Hello. This is a requested video. Thank you for the request. I appreciate it. I always like a love a challenge. And if I can do it, I'll certainly do it. So, or at least give it a try anyways. All right, so tea bag folding. So I've been requested to do a, a video on tea bag folding. And I thought, you know, there's a there's a lot of different simple, simple folds that we can do, and they all look different depending on what you do with them. So I'm just gonna start basic. And the very first one that I've learned is this one, where you just take a square, any size square, it doesn't matter. Um, so, cause we're just gonna practice with this one anyways. If you wanna know this exact size, then it's four by four, okay? But again, this is just a practice. So what we're gonna do is four by four inches by four inches. We're gonna take it and we're gonna fold it in half to make a triangle, okay? We're gonna open it up, turn it, fold it in half and make another triangle. Okay, so two triangles, opposite ways. We're gonna open it up and put it so that the triangles are down, the folds. So here's the triangle folds. The mountain fold is here. The mountain fold is here, okay? So now we're gonna take and do a hamburger fold. So we're gonna take this one and fold it over here to make a hamburger fold. Okay, then we're gonna open it up. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the two hamburger folds and push them in and hide them inside of the two triangles, okay? So there you go. So that's pretty easy, huh? Okay, so it's just a matter of doing the, the two triangles, triangle, triangle, and then fold it over to do the, the opposite way to do the, the rectangle, and then tuck those rectangles in. Okay, so now we've got a nice shaped triangle. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle right here. So what I want you to do is go ahead and take these two top and just pinch them together because you wanna be able to see that middle line, okay, on the top. So now we can see this line. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this outer edge and we're gonna line it up to this one. So we're gonna fold that in and then press that down and then fold this one in to connect to this one so that they're kissing. Okay, and that's all we're gonna do as far as the folds, okay? So this is a very, very simple, 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 simple fold. All right, so again, let's start over. So you're gonna take your piece of paper, you're gonna fold it in half to make triangle, fold it the opposite way to make a triangle, pick it up and lay it flat and fold it in half to make a rectangle. Then when, when the rectangle's done, you're gonna lift it up and you're gonna push those, the rectangle into the triangles. Okay, so you got that. Then remember, we're gonna make these kiss each other, pull them together so they can give a kiss, and then use that line to fold this side in and this side in. Not the bottom pieces, just the top. Okay, so let me bring this up and show you. Isn't that easy? Okay, and it looks like that. Okay. All right, so now we want to make four of these. Okay, so I have two pieces of six by six origami folding paper. You can use any kind of decorative paper you want. You can do it two-sided or you can do it one side. Um, one sided is fine too because you're not going to see the inside at all. You're just going to see the outer, the outside. Okay, so and I think I want these two to be on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and um, first I want to cut this. So my six by six, and this is a lot easier if I cut it with paper. So let me get a piece of scrap paper. Actually, I can cut them both together. That'll be thick enough. Because origami paper is very, very thin. All right, so this is six by six. So I'm gonna cut this at three and a half minus one quarter. So three and one quarter, okay? Now if I can line these pieces of paper up. So one and, or three and one quarter. Because six, no, six inches, it would be three. I'm sorry, what am I thinking? All right, I was thinking it was seven. Three by three. So a six by six piece of paper, I'm gonna cut it in half at six inches, and then I'm gonna cut it in half at six inches. Um, three, I'm, I apologize. All right, deep breath, Barbara, and let's do it right. 
cut them in half at three inches. Stack them together, turn it sideways, and cut them in half at three inches. Okay, there. So now there's one piece of paper, and here's the other paper. All right, so I'm gonna set the second paper aside. All right, so a six by six piece of paper, and I cut it in quarters. So we have four pieces, and they're three inch squares now. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with these that we did with this. So do you remember what we did first? You're right, we did triangle, triangle. So we're gonna do triangle this way. Open it up, triangle this way. Very good, do you remember what we do next? Yep, fold it in half. So open it up and fold it in half. So it's a hamburger fold. Okay, so we've got that rectangular shape, okay? Then we're gonna use our fingers and we're just gonna push that out. Okay, so then we're just gonna push these sides in and create the triangle and press it all down. Okay, do you remember what we do after that? Kissing Cousins, we're gonna pull the two top pieces up and have them, and make sure you line them up so that way your, your paper's straight. Okay, and make them kiss, and then open them up because we need that line. Okay. So now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna fold it up. Oops, I'm sorry. Fold it down rather from the top corner into the middle. I was gonna fold it the wrong way. <laughs> and then fold the other one and make sure they line up. All right. Is that straight? Yes, it is, okay. Didn't look very straight to me for some reason. Oh, and that's right, this this is gonna, this paper will bleed on me, but that's okay. All right, so we've got one done. So now we're gonna do it again. So do you remember? Triangle, triangle. So triangle, triangle. Okay, lay it down so you can see the outside. You're gonna do a hamburger. Okay, and then Push those sides in, that rectangle in, and press it down. Okay, and then kissing cousins. Because you want that middle fold to show. And then fold this side in. And fold this side in. All right, two more times. So, triangle. Triangle, open it up and lay it flat. The color you want on the outside, you want facing up, okay? So then you're gonna fold it in half to make a hamburger fold. There we go, open it up, and then use your fingers and push that up, and you're ready. You're gonna stick your fingers in here and push those two sides in while you're creating that triangle. Once it's lined up, go ahead and press it down. Okay, whoops, I almost forgot the last two parts. Then we're gonna do Kissing Cousins. There you go. All right, and then fold that in towards the middle. And fold this one over to the other one. Perfect, okay, we've got four, three so far. We've got one more to do, you ready? All right, so we're gonna do triangle. What's next? Another triangle. What's next? Open it up and put your color on the top. Hamburger fold. Okay, open it up and Tuck the two sides in, creating your triangle. Very good. All right, see, you're remembering. Once you do it a few times, then you'll remember. Okay, so then remember what you do next? Kissing cousins. Very good. And then open it, and then fold it down and in towards the middle. Very good. 
All right. There, so now we have four pieces. Okay, so now what we need is just a scrap piece of paper. Okay, so, and this is actually, what? I don't know, two and a half by two and a half. And that's just the size. You could do it even smaller, it doesn't matter. You could even start out with a circle this big. So, but you need something so that you can use as a base and you just wanna put a dot in the middle so you know where your middle is. Okay, and if it's off a little bit, it doesn't matter. That's okay. You just wanna kind of find where your middle is. You can see mine's down this way a little bit, but that's okay, no problem. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna line these up on here like this and we're gonna glue them in place. So just like that. Isn't that easy? All right, so we're gonna take and put some glue down. All righty, and we're gonna go ahead and glue these in place. So this one I'm gonna put on there and just line it up with that middle and then do the opposite side, line this one up with that middle dot. Okay. Put this one on and line this one up with both sides and that middle dot. And put this one on, lining it up with the two sides and that middle dot. And check it out. You have a tea bag folded item. Isn't that pretty? So, and I like putting it on the on the cardstock and you just use, I just use plain white cardstock because everybody has a lot of excess cardstock. It doesn't matter what color you use though. So, so you put that on. Now, imagine if you made two of these, you can put them back to back and use it as a Christmas ornament. You just turn it sideways and punch a hole and, and either way it goes, it'll be a Christmas ornament. Isn't that pretty? All right, so let's go ahead and make another one. So I've got these ones and I've got another piece of paper. So I'm gonna cut this into a square. Alrighty, and I'm gonna mark the middle of this one about right there all righty and we're gonna fold these ones do i want that on the outside or that no i want this on the outside okay so do you remember how we did the fold right we're gonna turn it this way we're gonna do triangle open triangle very good okay open we're gonna lay it down with the color you want showing on the top we're going to do right a hamburger fold okay and then we're going to push the two sides in and create a triangle all right very good so do you remember what else very good kissing cousins okay so line these and if you line the two tips up and then just kind of finger your way down, then you can move while you're pinching down. And then you'll make sure that you get that folded over properly. And then fold the side into the middle. Where's my fold right there, okay? And the opposite side into the middle. Very good. All right, so that one's done. Okay, so now let's do this one. So again, what do you do? Turn it upside down and you do triangle. And next, correct, triangle. And then put the color up that you want. Okay, and hamburger fold. You're getting this good. Okay, and then over and then kind of push it up. And then you can see where it goes in. So then just go ahead and push that, the two sides in and create the triangles. And I like to, if you line up one of the triangles first on one side, then the other one should line right up. Okay, if not, then it's not tucked in here properly. So you just have to adjust it. Okay, so then, yep, kissing cousins. Alrighty, and then, that's right, fold the two sides in. It's kind of like we're making a bird or a kite. All right, very good. So we've got two done. We're gonna do it again. 
All right, so we're gonna do a little bit quicker this time. Triangle, turn it, triangle, turn it upside down, and hamburger fold. And then lift it up and kind of push it up and then tuck those edges in. All right, very good. There's less showing on this side, so I'm gonna use this side. Okay. So then, kissing cousins. So see, sometimes they're cut a little bit off and you can, you can see really good with this one. The other one, you couldn't see it. All right, and then fold the sides down and in towards the middle. The sides down and in towards the middle. Very good, okay, one more. Triangle. Triangle. Turn it up like that. Hamburger. Put, pop it up. Tuck the two sides in to create your triangle. Line that outer triangle up and let the other one fall and suit. Kissing cousins. Okay. Make sure that it's lined up at the tip and then pinch your way down to make sure it's folded and folding properly. Sometimes it, sometimes the, the center wants to go up and then your triangle is going to be off. So you've got to force it sometimes and make sure you're putting those two tips together. Okay, and fold the, the side in towards the middle and the other side in towards the middle. All right, so now we've got this one. So now we could do the same thing and put these four together. And if we did that, then we could put that right on the back side of this. And that would look really cool. So I'm just kind of gonna kind of hold it together so you can see. Actually, I can clip it because I'm gonna do something else with it too. So I don't wanna actually adhere it together. Oh, my little piece, here's a clip. Here's a clip. All right, the two should be good. All right. There, I just want you to see what it's going to look like if you're making an ornament out of this. All right, so it'll look like that on one side and that on one side, the other side. Isn't that pretty? And then you just put, you glue all the corners together and you can leave these so they, they open up if you want to. And then you just punch a hole right here and put a string in there and you can hang it up. Isn't that neat? Okay, so now let's take that down. So that's one thing you can do with it is make it into an ornament, okay? You can also put these in your journals or in your scrapbooks or on cards. So you can make small ones you can make them even smaller and put them, you can line them up on a bookmark. That looks so pretty. All right, so now you already know how to put these four pieces together. I showed you how to, how to just glue them down and that makes one, that makes this, if you just glue them down so all the, the uh, points go in. Now another thing you can do is you can take these pieces, the second set of four, and you can actually tuck these in here. You tuck one in there you can tuck one in here, you can tuck one in here, you can tuck one in here. And look at how that looks. Isn't that neat? So let me let me bring you in closer. Let's see if I can do this. All right, yeah, that's better so you can see it now. Whoops, sorry. Still, Barbara, still. All right, so there's eight pieces. Isn't that pretty? I love the way that looks. Let's see if I can pick it up without, yeah, I can. All right, so there's the eight pieces. And then you can put something in the center. Isn't that pretty? And imagine doing eight pieces together and then eight pieces on the other side for a tree ornament. That would be really pretty. All right, and here's what it looks like with just the four, the basic four. I love the basic four even. It's just so pretty. I love it. All right, so the basic four, or you can step it up and do the basic eight. Okay, 
So there's one fold for you. There's many, many folds, and, and I'll do a couple more videos on this so we can do a couple different folds, okay? So now I have to make a decision. Do I want it all eight, or do I want to make two of them? I'm not sure. That's really pretty, too. I kind of like them. All right, maybe I will. Ah. <laughs> maybe I will put them together. Ah, I don't want to because it's just so pretty. And then it covers up all this. Let's try it again. Let's see. I do like that. That's really sharp. You could even do it that way. Isn't that pretty? That gives it kind of a butterfly effect. Do you see that? Let me bring that up. You could add antennas to it and you could make that into a butterfly. Isn't that cool? So see, slide that on and slide the other one in. And then you could just put two little antennas here. That'd be pretty nifty. Alrighty, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.